How are you doing? Uh, today's video is just a quick one. Um, I get asked a lot, uh, what are my render settings for Sony uh, Movie Studio Platinum 13? So I'm just going to go through what basically what I normally do when I, I, I edit and render. Um, I'm just going to boot it up in Steam. Just give it a minute. It's got a lot of plugins. Um, just going to get rid of this. And let's just put any um, project in here. It doesn't really matter for now. So let's just drag something I recorded. Um, see, shadow play, videos. There's a bit of footage of the forest there. Just going to drop that, drag it in the timeline. Uh, I'm going to cut it down quite short. pull that across first thing I do guys is and this is very important is just click on it make sure that's highlighted yellow you'll see uh, properties uh, disable resampling what this will do is it will make your render times faster and it will also eliminate any blur that you would normally get so that's very very important the next thing that I do is I go to video effects uh, I go to color corrector I drag this in just the default one I then put the top one, uh, the saturation, on point 0.2. Just adds a nice little crispness to it. And then I go to levels and I stick a computer RGB to studio RGB. Pull that in and as you can see it just brightens things up a little bit. And you can adjust all that as well. Look, just to, you know, if it's a bit of a dark scene look, you can brighten all things up. So it's very handy and you should use that definitely. So that's that. That's what I use in my, my renders. Now, when it comes to making a movie, the first thing you want to make sure you've done is go to Options, uh, Preferences, and then go to Video. And you see here, GPU Acceleration of Video Processing. Just make sure that you, if you have a, an AMD card or a NVIDIA card that supports this, just select it. I have a GeForce GTX 780. Now, a lot of people uh, think that this doesn't work uh, with the newer cards like this uh, for rendering with CUDA on this program, but it does, and I'll show you. Once you've done that, you're forced to restart, so you would restart the program at that point. Okay, now that's done, welcome back, and let's get on with it. Um, for rendering, go to Make Movie, save to my hard drive, never use these. These are just a waste of time, like uploading to YouTube. It just does some default rubbish. So save to my hard drive. Uh, we're going to go to Advanced Options, uh, I'm just going to uncheck my favourites guys so you don't see what is going on here. Uh, the next thing you want to do is click, I don't use main concept, main concept right, it's good, it's very high quality but takes a hell of a long time to render and it will not work with newer GPUs for uh, rendering with CUDA. Use this instead, um, I'm just going to find it, Sony AVC MVC. That is the best option. Go to your 1080p, so internet 1080p. Uh, I'm going to just do this at 30 frames a second. Once you've clicked it, go to customize template. Here you'll get all your settings. For me, uh, I'm just going to put the bitrate maximum uh, 259999. Um, there's not really a lot else I need to do. I'm going to, because I have an NVIDIA, I'm going to pick uh, render using. Where is it? GPU if necessary or if available. There we go. Uh, what else do I want to do? So that's done. Uh, you can go to your project and you can set it to best, but you, you really don't need to. Okay, once that's done, just gonna you can just name it here. Uh, save it. And there you've got a profile of it. As you can see here. But I've got one I pre-made earlier, so I'm just going to use that one. If you want to use something, if you want to make like a like a, I don't know, a time lapse on something and it's short, use the uh, main concept just because it's very short and it doesn't lose any quality. But for rendering your gameplay and everything, just do what I did here. Use Sony MVC, these settings for the 1920 1080p. Click render. And what I'm going to show you now is my GPU. As you can see, it's bumped up to over 800 megahertz. And now here, you can see my video is let's see a total length is three minutes 14 the render time is just just over three minutes so pretty much it's pretty quick 
it's not bad and it's using my GPU to its full load to do it and it actually works if you use Sony MVC just don't use the uh, main concept ABC or your GPU rendering will not work and there you go that's my settings I'm gonna skip back uh, when this is done okay guys as you can see it's almost done um, you'll notice as the uh, timeline is playing in that little screen that uh, you don't see any blur when it's moving and that is most important it's because you disable that resampling you must must do that you can do that in two options as well um, okay that's just finished you can see my graphics card was being levered there uh, you can do it here in the properties remember as I showed you or you can go here uh, right click go to switches and you can disable it here too there's also a lot of other cool stuff uh, we can press U to disable the uh, audio track from the video track and then you can do a voiceover uh, you can do your voiceover just by simply arming it here and clicking it here and once you've done that um, I like this kind of features with uh, Movie Studio but yeah you can then click reverb add a bit of echo to it uh, you can do your voiceover just by simply arming it here and it's cool for like when you're doing forest videos you know to add that little bit of echo well, let's see the quality anyway that's done don't want to save it uh, you can also make titles like this as well that I've done on my screen but anyway that's my render settings that's what I use and it's never let me down so I'm just going to go to that now and show you uh, there it is I think it was here oh hell no that breathing freaked me out little mutant look as you can see that wasn't blurry so I hope this helps you out guys uh, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.